Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how to install fog lamps on your Toyota RAV4. Now if you purchase one of those kits from like Amazon or eBay, you're probably struggling like me. I did it for half a day, that's why you see all this nightmare, but I actually uh, replacing my headlamps at this moment too. Just decided to replace both of them. Matter of fact, I do have a YouTube video about how to replace headlamps on this vehicle. So don't forget to check this out. But in this video, I'm actually going to uh, guide you how to install your fog lamps. And the most important thing, how to wire the fog lamps. There is many, many videos out there on the YouTube you probably seen, but you never can find the, actually the answer. None of those videos shows exact and direct wiring of these cheap kits that you can buy on eBay or Amazon. So let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, and the first thing that you need to uh, know and understand that your vehicle already pre-wired with the connections for your fog lamps. I mean, look at this, very nice, good quality uh, wiring. So do not install those cables that come with your kit. It's very hard to install them. You have to puncture the holes through the rubber, through the garments, and wire all these wires inside of your cabin. It's a nightmare. It's way more work to do. Just make sure you clean them with some cleaner and they'll work perfectly to install fog lamps on your car you do not need to remove the bumper the only reason i did because i'm replacing the headlamps the headlamps became defective so i have to send it back uh, they were out of stock so i'm still using my old one it's a whole another story the only thing that you need to know that you do not need to remove your bumper you can just remove the covers under the bottom you probably seen on other videos i'm not going to show it to you but you can get easy access from the bottom of your bumper. Remove the covers, just the, the, the covers that was ori originally pre-installed on your car and easily mount your uh, brackets and then the headlamps that comes in the kit because they're, you know, they're two separate pieces. Now, the next thing would be to pre-order relay. Right now on the screen, you see the part number, so make sure you get a correct relay. Maybe you'll get a chance to find this relay somewhere locally or just order one um, online. Now, your fog relay is actually going to go right here. Since your vehicle is not equipped with the fog lights, you're not going to have that relay at all because, I mean, it's cost money. What you can use temporary just for the test. Do not drive without relay for your horn. This relay right here is responsible for your horn and it's exactly the same so for uh, this test and for this job this is what i was using you can use this just for your personal test but make sure do not drive around without relay uh, for your uh, horn on your driver's side you will find another big fuse box and this fuse right there seven and a half amp is responsible for your fog lamps as well make sure it's there if it's not just buy one somewhere locally as well and pre-install this my uh, fuse was already actually pre-installed so i didn't need it now go ahead and remove uh, this cover right here you've probably seen this on many videos out uh, there how to do it super easy just pull this off and that's it then make sure you remove all these uh, harnesses this is going to be much much easier for you to do the wiring from your wiring kit you really don't need anything besides actually harness that connects to your switch and uh, cut it out uh, about a foot uh, of that wire from this harness now you just need to remove this cover right here and the bottom uh, step piece uh, trim uh, just so you can access to your ground point. For side panel you'll just going to find this little uh, plastic nut. Go ahead, take this off. Super easy to pull this step trim. And this whole thing just comes out like that. And this is where you will find your ground point right here. Now the fuse box you will find right under it and we will need to install one more fuse here. 
and the fuse is going to be a uh, number six number six and that would be your fog lamps fuse again and it's also a seven and a half amp and as you see it says over here no circuit but it's actually not true so make sure you install this fuse as well all right now let's talk about wiring as you see it's already pre-wired so i'm just going to guide you how to wire it uh it took me like a half a day trying to figure this out watching multiple videos reading the forums and i finally came up with the issue and actually what's going on that you're probably struggling to and just since you're watching this video so you will be aware okay so they are total of two type uh, switches the one is hot and other one called ground so basically every time when you activate your switch it's going to close some certain of a circuit one circuit it will close which is um, actually the power the the, the signal to uh, the relay that actually will power on your fog lamps and another circuit is basically your light you're just little tiny little led lamp inside um, of your switch so once again one switch is going to be your hot and one is ground what's the difference between these where the big difference you have to make sure you have a proper switch whatever kit you bought from amazon or ebay or whatever make sure you have a proper switch because if you don't have proper switch it's not going uh, to work just look at this uh, diagram right now and you can see uh, on one side you have uh, your hot circuit a switch and another which uh, there would be your right side um, the ground switch circuit and they work totally different um, I do not recommend you to use hot circuit Now we're gonna be working uh, in this video on the using a ground uh, switch uh, with my kit this is where dilemma this word the problem I received the switch that actually uh is hot circuit so it's not going to work at all and how you simply test uh, your circuit you just have to use a multimeter you can buy this multimeter for like four bucks from harbor freight it's a very useful thing to have uh, if you do not um, have it uh, you just simply have to test the lids inside of your uh, switch while your switch is actually active so make sure while you test it you actually have to click on your switch and activate it if you do not have a ground switch and that's what we need in this case in our install i'm going to show you how you can get around this and this is what i'm going to be doing with my system and maybe eventually i'll get a ground switch but before getting into it let me go ahead and show it to you the proper uh, wiring so in uh, your kit you will receive this wire it's pretty long and it's usually just green harness or uh, uh, you might have a gray harness but this is basically how it looks and it actually connects to your switch now the first thing that you need to make sure these harnesses actually have eight pins make sure your pins were installed properly and they are all connected to the same line and in this case let me see if my camera can focus in this case they are all installed properly so make sure they're all in the proper holes and by the way there are a total of five holes but you actually have four cables so in the middle you'll have a loose pin so you're not going to have a pin in there so make sure you don't have no pin in there and uh, these wires not accidentally was installed in the middle pin because it's not going to work on your switch you actually will have a uh, five pins but one of them will not going to work it's just the zero pin doesn't uh, do um, absolutely anything so let's go ahead and talk about a uh, wiring uh, that's where you need to pay the most attention in uh, this video so uh, your um, wires colors might not be the same uh, I see in the yellow cables I see in the green cables uh, the blue would be your white uh, but it really does not matter just follow uh, these steps so the black one the first the black one we're going to mount this to the ground I just show you the points of the ground they're located over there just pull this wire to your ground and mount to your ground 
your blue wire the most important wire your blue wire that's your signal wire that's going to go um, and let the relay know to power on the fog lamps so the blue wire or white wire you'll have to connect to the pin 56 and you just kind of have to tap in to it with this little tap you can buy a different type of tap it doesn't really matter but uh, the name apparently of this um, uh, side of this harness called b3 something like that i don't quite remember and the number of the pin is uh, number 56 and it's actually very easy to remember it's all the way on the bottom right side that's the lid that's the, that's the pin that's the wire you need to tap into you have to tap into your blue wire or your white wire whatever uh, your harness was supplied the colors now your other two wires either they're going to be green or yellow or red it doesn't really matter you're going to have two of them so you had to put them together and these are actually already was pre-made so um, they just went into one wire this wire actually only responsible for your LED light inside of the switch and to power on the light and power off when you activate your switch it will light up when you deactivate it will it's not going to light up but light, light up anymore so that's the only the wire is actually responsible for that's it that wire you have to also tap uh, tap into your harness that goes to um, your traction control also to the red and on every vehicle you will have just the red wire which is your positive cable basically what this positive cable do it's also turn on the light inside of your uh, traction control um, button when you power on your uh, vehicle so and basically this is it this is how you wire your harness very very simple make sure you buy these tabs uh, uh, at your local store even even walmart sell these uh, stuff uh, this is actually not great to use i don't really like them but this is only what i had uh, and this one i'm just going to keep it keep it like this uh, for now uh, now if you have um, a ground type switch you just put all this back together you plug all your harnesses back together you install your switch super easy to install uh, your switch you see right now on the video in the fast forward uh, motions and your fog lamps going to work right away now how to wire your hot circuit switch it is doable but you're going to uh, lose the future of the light the light is just not going to come in um, when you um, activate your fog lamps and it's not going to go off when you deactivate them that's basically what this wire like i said earlier uh, responsible uh, for now what we're going to do to make this work since um, you have um, hot circuit switch um, the wires that are um, are getting together and completing the circuit are not where they're supposed to be so we need to just simply switch these wires we're going to unpin this harness and uh, properly pin them so when you insert this harness into the switch it will properly put the circuit on the correct wires and that would be your black wire and your blue wire or your white wire if this is what you're using that same wire that goes to uh, pin uh, 56 on your mate harness and the black one obviously your ground so when you put these wires together only these two wires that what's complete circuit and power on your fog lamps so for the reason you can install any switch here you can install just the old switch that goes up and down or right on these wires and they work perfectly they're going to work just right like they should uh, too but uh, since we already have a switch we're going to be using the switch so i'm just gonna go ahead and um, change the pins and move these pins around so it will properly uh, complete the circuit when i'm pressing on uh, the button and these wires i'm just not going to have i'm going to cut them off make sure you put a tape around it so they won't short anything because actually the power will um, go here and actually make sure you also separate them so we're not going to complete a closed circuit um, on it accidentally so make sure you just cut them off and uh, put um, some sort of a tape or something like that temporary uh, maybe later on you'll decide to fix it and uh, get a proper 
ground type of switch. All right, on your uh, hot circuit switch, you actually have uh, two pins that completing uh, the circuit. And um, they are located on just one side, just on this side right here. Just kind of copy the way how this harness connects. So these two pins are completing the circuit to power on and power off your uh, fog lamps. So what we need uh, to do, just simply switch this uh, wires, this unpin them and pin them right here. I actually decided I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these uh, two uh, red um, pins completely. So let's go ahead and uh, get right to it very, very easy. Now this is it, you have harness that have two pins on both ends, on both sides that are completing the circuit. And now you'll have perfectly working switch that came with your kit. The only problem is that you're not going to have the light. That's it. And don't forget to remove uh, this ones right here if you already uh, tap into your um, harness that responsible for traction control don't forget to remove this put everything back together and uh, that's it that's it i just want to mention to you if your fog lamps is power on they will come on and off with the headlamps and this is how they're supposed to be if you want to power on and power off your fog lamps separately this is not going to work and this is how every car is supposed to work the fog lamps only work if your actually main headlamps uh, is activated